to the test for body composition. Uh, the test we're going to be doing today is the skin fold caliper test. To do this test you will need a few pieces of equipment. The first piece of equipment that you will need is a skin fold caliper. The second is a book or somewhere to mark down the results. And the third piece of equipment that you will need is a Jackson Pollock nomogram. In order to perform this test, your participant will need to remove certain items of clothing so that the skinfold calipers can be placed on their body at different sites, as seen in this clip. For this test, um, my participant, Mr Hughes, is going to leave his clothes on, although that will affect the reliability of the scores. Um, he's going to leave his top on just so we can show you the sights that will be used for a female and a male. For a male, the sights that will be used are the chest, the thigh and the abdomen, and generally we use the right side of the body. For the female, we would use the tricep. We would use the sopraliac on the hip and we would also use the thigh. Okay. In order to take the different measurements and to get an accurate measurement, you need to use the skin fold calipers correctly. The first thing that you need to do is you need to get the right area. So the first area that we're going to do for Mr Hughes is his chest. So we get Mr Hughes to relax his right arm by the side of his body and then we're going to take a measurement in between the armpit and the nipple and what we're going to do is we're going to pinch and we're going to try and pinch the fat and the skin. What you need to avoid doing is pinching the muscle as well as this will give you an inaccurate score. Once you've taken the pinch you then place the skin for caliper accurately right next to the pinch and you squeeze it and the caliper will give you a reading. You then need to record that reading down somewhere and you take that reading three times. So Mr Hughes's first score is 13 millimetres. So I'm going to record that down on the board. I then recalibrate the skin fold caliper and I take my second reading. This time I've got 14 millimetres. I recalibrate the equipment again and then I take my third and final reading from the same place. And that time I got 11 millimetres. So I'm going to record that down. recalibrate the equipment and then we would do the same for the thigh and for the abdomen. Once you've got your three measurements for the three different sites, what you need to do then is you need to get an average total millimetre for each site. So for the chest we took three readings. I'm now going to add those three readings together. So I do 13 plus 14 plus 11 millimetres, which equals 38. I then divide that by three, and that gives me my average, which here is 12.6. So I make a note of that. So for the chest, our total is 12.6 millimetres. I then do the same for the thigh and for the abdomen. I have now worked out the averages for the different parts of the body of Mr Hughes and here are the averages here. We then add them together and we get a total number of millimetres for Mr Hughes. It's this score now that we use 
to put into the Jackson Pollock nomogram to help us find out what Mr Hughes's overall percentage body fat is. Now that we have Mr Hughes's total score in millimetres, we can use that to find out his percentage body fat using this Jackson Pollock nomogram. So Mr Hughes scored 41.2 millimetres, which is just here on the Jackson Pollock nomogram. So we place the ruler there. The other piece of information that you need is Mr. Hughes's age. Mr. Hughes is 26. So we place the ruler on here and we move it up until we get to 26. We then know that Mr. Hughes is a male. And so we come down here until we find Mr. Hughes his overall percentage body fat is between 11 and 13, which is 12, so he has a 12% body fat.